So, yeah, I do recall Sisney judge, not judge such a harsh word, but, yeah, judging about this when Tanya created. It was more out of concern, you know? I was like, oh, it's just going to take up so much time. Like, you really want to, like, handle <laughs> two oh, Instagrams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> But you got back, a new back, puppy. Back, 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 back. You rescued a Dalmatian, and now you've created a page for your puppy, huh? I, not only did we create a page for him, it was, like, part of, like, the name naming him process. I was like, if we name him this, can we have a cool Instagram handle? Like, literally thought about it from the beginning. So what made you go from saying not a good idea and laborious to Tanya to actually doing it? I don't know what it was about, I think maybe just the uniqueness of having a Dalmatian and the the amount of love that it's going to give people by me posting pictures and videos of him. I, I will say that the, the photos that you have sent me, Tanya, of your sonny, and the photos you've shown us of the Dalmatian, like you will go up a notch of having a better day when you see the photos. Yeah. Yes. Like they're cute. And I'll say the reason why I started it was because I was taking so many photos and videos of Sunny and I felt like my entire page was becoming just my dog. And I was like, I'm just going to put everything on her Instagram and not like keep mine mine. And it was the best decision ever because now I have this like chronological She's grown up on this page. It's, like, so cute. You know what I mean? Because I have all this documented from when she was a puppy until now. I did this back in the day with Dakota on Facebook because there was no Instagram back then. (laughs) And I just didn't keep up with it, you know? Right. And so I have, like, puppy pictures of her, but then who knows how long it will last with uh, Diego. But it's Diego.TheDalmatian on Instagram. Diego.TheDalmatian? Yeah, like, Diego, like, and then the period, and then The Dalmatian. Diego Bonetta comes up. Yeah, get past all those. They don't have enough oh, followers. There They're not posting. One hasn't posted. Okay, got it. Here. Oh, you got three fo- three blocks of photos up. Yeah, I posted a video not too long ago of uh, Diego's first bath. Yeah, it's so cute. Okay, so this is it really the Dalmatian is adorable. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. Are they calm? So a lot of energy, and right now is like crucial time for training, and it's all about him trusting us and building that trust with this dog and. How was the bath? That he, looked, that's always a difficult one. For he you. was very calm in the bath. I think he liked it a lot. I'll have to give him another one tonight. Um, n- nice tiles as we celebrate Tile Day around your <laughs> oh, bathtub. Thank you. Came with the house, you know. Uh, we'll remodel later. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> but the kids love so, it, and Aza is really kind of stepping up into like a helper mode. You know, they'll be the twins will be six this May, and she wants to do everything. She wants to help feed them. She wants to help. I'm Take telling you, Sisney, this is the best decision you've ever made. The the dog Instagram. You don't find it a lot of work, Sunny. You got he's at Sunny Girl dot the Cavapoo. <laughs> Cavapoo. So Cavapoo. Sunny Girl dot the Cavapoo. It is. It just brings me joy. It just makes me happy, and I just upload everything. Every photo I take of her, <laughs> there. So I was reading that I think seventy percent of us have pets, and we now, I think more so than ever. We who have pets treat our pets more like humans than ever before. We want Mm -hmm. natural stuff for them. We want them to live longer. We don't want them to go away. We want to engineer their bodies and their food so that they can, you know, have the best life and be healthy. Yeah. Because you're uh, my algorithm, I don't know if this is for you. I get these videos all the time in my algorithm of parents playing with their puppies. And it says how, you know, like they're not here for a very long time. So make their life the best life ever. And I always think about that anytime we're doing anything with her. I'm like, I have to make make this the best life she's ever had. I know. I can't think about the fact that they live l- less than we do. Because right. Yeah, that, that part. Just, like That part. I've never been through that. When with I the dog sit before. there and I start doing the math and I'm like, how old will the kids be? I was like, oh, my gosh, that's it's. Yeah. You don't want to think, I mean, so, think about it, but you do. We, We've got Georgia and Olio now. A dude dog. This is a dude dog. I've never had a dude dog. Only girl dogs. Olio like seems like dogs. he's a very energetic. He's going to knock my jaw off. Like, he's so <laughs> strong. And yeah. he's got big, broad, strong shoulders. And he comes at you full speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when you play with a toy, you can just, like, and you're trying to, like, tug it out. If you do the trick where you massage, like, underneath their mouth, they'll kind yeah. of release easier, the toy. He does that to me. <laughs> <laughs> Feels great. Gives you a facial. Oh, that's how I relax at night.